I feel like deja vu. Um, welkom allemaal. Ik heb paar navraag gekry vir Afrikaanse klas. Ek gaan wel tussen die twee tale myself dier werk. Um, so that everybody can understand and that everything is clear and um, makes sense to everybody. I hope you are absolutely fabulous. Um, have you started work again? How does it feel to be back at work? How's your family doing? Are the kids back at school? Um, is jylle gezond? Is daar bekommernisse? As daar wel bekommernisse is, is hierdie nou een tykie waar jy alles op sy gaan skuif en jy gaan achter oor sit en jy gaan net die sessie geniet. I thought of having a back to basics work session for today so that we can share ways on painting, ways on working with a foam roller, how to stencil. I see often on the Choco Creations page that we have newcomers, people that are new in painting and that's fabulous and that's why we're there. I must be honest with you, you are a great community. The um, support you give each other, the encouragement, Oh my hat and the most creative and inspirational things you post on our Choco Creations page. Well done on that. You are an inspiration, more than I will ever be. Just know for sure that I find my inspiration from you all. I thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for supporting each other. Um, thank you for supporting the Choco brand and all our stockers. I think it's amazing. We are working hard in the factory and, the, and just know that you are making a difference. It is lovely um, to see everything that you create. So, moet nie ophou om te skep nie. Dit is heerlijk om te sien wat jylle doen. Die toaster wat gister geverf is. Ek het nog myself gedreig en gesê, dit is iets wat ek gaan doen in die grendel tyd. En wel gedaan vir die persoon wat die moet gehad het om het aan te dur. Dit is een absolute transformatie. Lies die gister ook in vir my een voice note. En die van julle wat lief kent, sy is my persoonlijke assistent, maar sy is een vriendin, sy is my rechterhand, sy is fantasties. Maar sy is so opgewonde oor die rooster wat geverf is. So wel gedaan. Ons gaan basis een goed vandag behandel. En ek dink, een van die belangrijkste dinge is, dit wat ek sê is nie wet. Daar is nie een rechte manier hoe om iets te doen nie. Jy gaan dalk iets ontdek wat vir jou meer sin maak en vir jou meer werk. En dan doen jy dit, onthoud dis ver. Dis a kreatieve medium. Dis iets wat jy moet self kan uitdruk en wat jy moet geniet. So just see me as, as a tool to inspire and a tool to guide. But if you find different ways on doing it, that's easier for you to attend. Just go with it and feel comfortable and share it with us, please. So the first thing that we are going to do is how to paint with a paintbrush. Ah, I see numerous questions. My paintbrushes are making streaks. What am I doing wrong? Your first coat will be a streaky coat because you can't completely cover a surface with your first coat. I can now up here, um, still here. Here is Karen, my school sister Stulkies. Sy is ver schwanger, ons verwag a baba tienes binnen die volgende vier weke. Um, so hier is om haar kombuistoekies wat ek van gaan mooi maak en dan kan sy voel sy iets nie sy vers in haar huis. So, I'm using a Hamilton's brush. I'm using either one of the following. This is a Hamilton's fiberglass brush. This is what it looks like. Or if you really want a very smooth, um, delicate application, this is a Hamilton's Enzyme brush, and this is what the packaging looks like. Okay, so enige een van die twee borsels, en dan gaan het al by verf, so ek kan sien. Okay, how to prepare a surface? Raw timber surfaces, no preparation required. Previously, varnish surfaces, wait six months before you can paint onto varnish. Then clean well with power fixes like a finish scaling. Jy kan net al staan as jy gaan. So this is the finish that we use. Don't wash with handy handy before or soap or anything. There might be a chemical reaction between the detergent and the thinners. 
So just clean with your thinners. Clean with your thinners, previously varnished surfaces, um, melamine kitchen cupboard doors, wall tiles. I'm repeating myself, sorry for those that have heard it in the past, not in a shower and not floor tiles. But this is your most important step. If you paint on a previously varnished surface, wall tiles, um, glass even, to prepare faux leather. This is how you clean your faux leather before you start painting. Proper good clean. What the thinners does, it etches the surface so that the paint can grip and it also removes any greasiness that might be on a surface. Okay, and you don't need to wash it off. Wait 20 to 40 minutes and then start painting. You will see immediately once the thinners is dry. Does not need a reacne, so wear gloves, make sure there's ventilation in your space, and a mask. And then once it is dry, the odor will disappear and your surface will be fine. Raw timber, no need to clean, just make sure it's dust free. Now, fat ek my Hamilton's gewone fiberglass verf borsel. Ek doop hom in my verf. En daar is iemand wat gister gevra het, hoe baie verf? Daar is nie een reel nie, maak nie seker jou, die verfkwasie is lekker nat. En wat ek doen, is when working on wood, you work with the grain of the wood. And with a paintbrush, only paint in one direction. And this is how I do it. So your first coat, you can see there's streaks, but the moment it dries, there's no streakiness left behind. Let me show you, if you work with a very dry brush, then you will see streaks. Can you see the difference? So make sure your brush is wet with paint so that the paint can flow into each other. And I'm applying my first coat. I'm just going Funny umi ronden, funny twin bank stilki. Terwijl ik kom naar zijn eerste laag, ik gee. Kijk, dit is makkelijk, dit is makkelijk. Je zet lekker verfjes op. Je hoeft niet spannend te wees niet. Je doet geen spanning verbonden aan verf niet. De verf is om te ontspan. Geniet het niet. Die lekker ding is, as jy iets wil wegsteek, verf jy bloot eenvoudig nog een laagie. Dit is een prachtige kleur. Someone asked on the group, a soft pink, baby pink for a nursery. Doris Dance is a beautiful soft pink and also has a dusty, dusty pink color that complements most things. Look, I'm wearing pink. I have a pink scarf on. Maar kijk hoe die Kleren mekaar complementeer. So dit is rarig, een veilige, mooi, zachte pastelpink om weer te raar. En daar is my eerste laagje op. Lekker tip wat ek met julle wil deel, is wanneer ons bevoorbeeld om buis, nebels, verf of eetkamer, stoele, um, en jy wil een baie, kom ek verf met hierdie raadkie klaar, dat jy daar nou iets nekies het om na te kyk daar in jou rekenaar of voonskerm. En jy wil een baie egalige aanwerking hee. Kijk, wat gaan ek nou doen op die poot. Martie van Jeffries, jy het so mooi die stoele geverf as jy kyk. En dis precies so sy dit rin. So ek verf een deelkie. Omdat het rauw hout is, boor die verf vanaf droog. Due to the fact that it's raw timber, the timber actually absorbs the paint and it dries so quickly. But what you can do if you want even a more even finish, while the paint is still wet, very softly, on my wet paint that I've just painted with a paintbrush, I'm just gently, look, I'm not rubbing hard. There's hardly any paint coming onto the foam roller. So I'm just evening it out. And in an instance, I have a very soft, um, even look on my furniture and I'm painting Kaylee is a, a dedicated video girl again Maestro is outside he got a new ball yesterday and he is so 
mischievous with that ball. It will be chaos if he gets into the house. Okay. And now I'm just rolling. Very softly, gently, and then I have a very even finish on my surface. Now, when do I get a rough surface? And this is also a question I've received and seen quite often on the group. And we are going to work with the foam roller. If you roll aggressively with a foam roller and you overwork your foam roller on the same area, that is the time when the paint will, will be uneven due to the fact that the foam um, takes the paint back again. But when working on the same surface a couple of times, the paint also starts drying. So we are going to work with a foam roller, never overwork a foam roller. Those are the times when you will see unevenness in your paintwork and rougher surfaces. Remember, it's paint and there are always ways of fixing things. So if that happens to you, you take a hundred grit or even 200 grit sandpaper. Now the higher the numbers go, the softer the grit becomes. So um, 80 grit is really coarse. It's, it's a rough sandpaper. 100 is less coarse, 200 is a fine soft skier papier. And skier you need luchies, so you sand lightly and then you just paint dust, make sure there's no dust on your surface, and then you just roll again. We are going to work with this. Does the painting with a paintbrush make sense? If there's too little paint on your paintbrush, um, it will leave streaks. And if you pluck the paint, Suzuki so tells me quite often that's something that, that I like to do. So if I have, I'm going to do it here so that you can see what I mean. If I have a lot of paint on my paintbrush and I paint and I paint and the paint also starts to dry, then it becomes tacky as you, as you are painting. Yes, as I'm a full it wordse tyrach terwyl jy werk, dan weet jy, jy het te veel verf op jou verf kwas, span het bykie, sit minder verf op, in verf net mooi egalig. So, I think ladies, the key to success is play music, be in the mood for painting, be in the mood for creating art, because even though this is just straightforward painting, we are making something beautiful, we are upcycling something, and you need to be in the right mood. I love painting with music on. It just takes me to a very happy place. Okay. Okay, there's a question. Can you ask and I'll ask. So there's two that I'm going to ask now. The first one is, why won't the paint hold up in a shower? Uh, we don't recommend showers. It's not something that I've tested, so I can't guarantee anything. Do not paint in a shower. And then, what's the clear that you have to see after you have Okay, so on our website, there's a video link that we've done with the home channel a while back. And there we actually show it is how to create a TV room. You will see a TV room unit on the picture on our website, Choco Paint, under the tab Choco Creations. You will see how to revamp a TV room or a lounge and, um, or a dining room, the dining room how to revamp the dining room space. And there's actually a video of exactly the colors we used on the wall behind me. It was a brick wall. And if I remember correctly, it was vineyard stone and cloud white that we dry brushed onto something I'll show later, dry brush. Can you, will you remind me? There was questions about dry brushing that we dry brushed onto the wall. So it's vineyard stone cloud white in a dry brush technique Nadine, did they just say that you mustn't paint your scarf that you have on? Let me take it off. Oh, I actually have my apron here. I just forgot to put it on. Okay, let me take it off to be safe because um, nothing stays clean with me. Okay, painting with a paintbrush, everybody. Can you just comment and tell me if it makes sense? If you have any questions when painting with a paintbrush. Are there questions, Kaylee? 
Okay, ask them. So this is not really for a paintbrush, yeah. but it's a question for the paint. Yeah. Is the paint water resistant? Okay, so our glaze. Once you apply our clear glaze, something that we are going to do, this is what it looks like. The clear glaze makes it water resistant so that you can paint something in a kitchen, in a bathroom, outside. My flower pots are painted, they're standing outside, but I've, clear, I've um, sealed it with a clear glaze to make it water resistant. Okay, I'll show you how in a, in a moment. Okay, paintbrush, any questions? Can I move to the next thing? Okay. Oh, yes, one just popped up. <laughs> do you go straight from the bottle? Not into a paint tray. That's a very good question to ask. So there are three things that contaminate paint. Air, a dirty paintbrush and water. So best will be to pour out paint as you need it. Seal your jar again on the instructions we asked to replace the, the um, wax paper. I use clad wrap just to make the opening process easier. And you also know it's nicely sealed and work from a paint tray rather. Very good question. Then you know no excess air gets into your jar and your paint stays good for longer. Okay, next question. Where can we buy the brushes? Brushes, we have an online store at chocopaint, chocopaint for, um, forward slash shop, or you can get it from our stockers. Um, they do have the catalogs and most stockers do stock the Hamilton's range. Okay. Can I move on? Yes. Okay, have we answered all questions, Kaylee? Yes. Okay. So this is working with a paintbrush and also if you want to, use the foam roller together with the paintbrush. Okay. But as I said earlier, there are no rights or wrongs. Main thing is, find a way that works for you. Okay, so that was a first coat. A first coat is never a solid coat. Okay. So that I will wait until it's dry, 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the weather and depending on the area where you live. So this gebiede het het langer droogtijd, daar is meer humiditeit in die lucht. So you gaan 40 minuten wacht, coastal areas 40 minutes. Um, Gauteng, most of the time is 20 minutes, only when it's cold, like the weather we've experienced recently. So here's a bar stool that has received its two coats. So let's do some stenciling. There was questions on stenciling. And in the same breath, I'm going to show you how to dry brush. So there were questions, so I just want to answer them as, as I've seen during this week. Can you ask her now what mama doing? Is beweeg hier naartoe. Dan stencil mama op die sitvlak en jy wees net af. So with stenciling, I do not use a sponsy. Um, I've seen questions about sponsies and I think it's the artist sponges that you buy from, from stationery stores. When I stencil to have success with my stencil work, I use stencil brushes, smaller items, or when working on a wall or a larger surface, like for instance a tabletop, then I use a foam roller. And this is what a foam roller looks like. The width of the foam roller I like to work with is 110 millimeter. It's also available on our online stores and from our stockers. Let me listen to the questions. As the five afgechip het, moet ek die hele ding oorverf of kan ek het net touch up? Jy kan het net touch up, maar hoe kom chip het af? Die skoonmaak proces is die vernaamste. So die areas wat die verf afgekom het, gaan jy goed skoonmaak met lekker finish, power fix en lekker finish, wacht jy 20 tot 40 minuut. En dan wat ek doen, as het gebeur, is jy vat 100 krit skeerpapier, ek het nie skeerpapier op my tafel nie, en net lichies, skeer jy op die dele, laat dit nie lyk asof jy op een afgechipte oppervlak werd, so dat jy dit nie mooi glad maak, Maak jy skoon met jou finish waar al die stoffies is nie. Waag jy 20 minuut en dan touch jy net op. Goed, volgende vraag, Kylie. Kan ek op my ou stolkast in my kombuis verf? Moet ek eers die ou verf afskeer of net skoon maak met lekker finish en dan verf? Goed, jy gaan goed skoon maak met jou lekker finish. 20 of 40 minuut waag jy verf. Gaan kyk gerus op ons YouTube kanaal, dis ook Jokopai op YouTube. 
Estor, a Facebook room makeover will have you can see this amazing event to start. I probeer nou ontdek wat is al nou, ek is baie slecht het nou met. Maar in elk geval, sy hou haar gezicht so vast en ons het haar staal kom buis oor geverf met choco. Gaan kyk bykie die transformatie. So lekker finish, goed skoon was. Kom buis is areas waar vetterigheid klauw maak. Seker is mooi skoon. Wacht jou tyd en dan verf jy. Spons roller werk lekker op staalkas. Goed, kyk die volgende vraag. Jo, hier sal ons nou bykie baie vraag. Dit is nek. Ek gaan sit en dan vraag jy alles. Okay. What color is the second pink? Ek denk hulle praat van die rest. Okay, this pink is reddish mellow. So I'm working with pinks. Glory stars, reddish mellow. So it's a nice coral pink, beautiful. Kan een mens stil kom bijskast te verf, soos die oudheidse type wat amper in enamel is. Ja. So dit is, jy kan het definitief verf maak goed skoon met jou lekker vinders. As jy onlangs een oppervlak in namel geverf het, en ons het so twee weke terug rokke so klapier geverf, maar, en hy was in namel geverf, ek het nie geweet hoe lang terug hy in namel geverf is. Wat ek toe gedoen het, is ek het een toets gedoen. So ek het eers een stikkie, jylle sal sien op ons YouTube kanaal is daar video, stikkie geskeer met 100 krit skeerpapier, toe skoon gemaakt met lekker vinders, my eerste laag geverf, so met droog geblaas met een haar droog, My tweede laag geverf, droog geblaas, ons beveel eindelijk aan, wacht oor nacht, het in die krap toets eers die volgende dag. So do the scratch test the next day, and if the paint doesn't scratch off, you know it's safe to paint onto enamel. Some enamel areas do pose a problem. So in general, we recommend to first do the scratch test before you attempt painting on enamel. Most instances, just to clean and paint works like a bar. Wat er kleere gebruik jy nou op die soelkies? Ek is nou Lisbeth Pastel, kom op huis weer. So ek werk met Reddish Mellow, ek het hom nou nou oop gemaakt, dat het die koeie werk gevat, hy staan nou daar achter, Reddish Mellow. En kijk hoe mooi is die Rena's idee. Dit is, dit is, dit is amper een appelkoos, perske, pink, dit is vernoem na die Rena van die idees tijdskrif. Ek het die werk so lekker so met ons huis liefle. Ek is ook bykie lus, ek gaan nou nog, ons gaan, ons is bezig met pastelle vandag, jylle. So we working with pastel colors. Some goodness. Just see how beautiful coral stone is. So it's a dark egg blue. And then I'm going to wing it later on the kitchen doors with some naya. There were questions about blend that I just want to explain. And some comforts blue. Kijk, daar is een question, kan jy met my lesse? Kan ek my melamien kaste verf? Absoluut, ja, jy kan. So jy maak jou melamien baie goed skoon met power fix, lekker finish. Wacht 20 tot 40 minuten, ons gaan dit nou doen. Ek het dit super hoedeerkies gebring, en dan gaan ek jou weis om te gluis na die tijd. Ja, jy kan. Maak goed skoon met power fix, lekker finish, dit is die vernaamste stap om goed skoon te maak. How do you do the scratch test? So the scratch test is done as follows. You sand a section on an enamel surface with 100% sandpaper. You clean that with lacquer thinners. Allow 20 to 40 minutes drying time. Paint your first coat. Allow for the first coat of paint to dry. Give it 40 minutes to be safe in winter. Paint your second coat. Then wait overnight. And the next morning you scratch. And you will see immediately, if the paint scratches off, then you know that enamel first requires a universal undercoat to be painted on. With universal undercoat, you need to, need to allow a four hour dry time before you can paint onto the universal undercoat. If the paint doesn't scratch off, you know. You're just going to lightly sand the enamel surfaces just to create some roughness. Clean with lacquer thinners. Wait your 20 to 40 minutes and chop away. Nadine, we're going to do two more questions and then we can carry on. Reageer die verf met hitte, soos bijvoorbeeld as mense tuister verf, gebruik die mense roller of een gladde effect? Ek het nog nooit een tuister geverf nie. Wat my, wat my, wat ek kan net vir my sê is, Choco is nie getoets om hitte bestand te wees, soos om warm potte op te sit nie. Ons gebruik wel Choco vir onderboorde, as jy, as jy, op die boorde, vir een aand eet, en dan is jy een warm boord, maar dit is nie die selfde hitte van een pot nie. Die rooster, my rooster, het 
uit plastic aan die buitenkant. So hy is nie, hy word, hy gelei nie uit dit. Um, ek weet nie hoe lyk die rooster wat die klient geverf het op. Vergelei hy het dit en op, is hy cool aan die buitenkant. Um, so kom ek bij julle, hy is my braai. Want sorry, gaan julle verstok. Ons braaier is geverf met winjas. Dit is een gewone swart hoogenare. Ek hoop hy skoon die binnen, want ja, ek het wel aan van hy is skoon gemaakt. So hy is nou die binnenkant geverf nie, maar ons nie die flappe geverf. Dit wil ons nog gaan reis. Maar wat ek doen om veilig te wees, en dit is nou verlanger as een jaar so. So die flap is aan die buitenkant geverf, nie aan die binnenkant. So wanneer ons in die aande braai, maak ons die flappe oop. So ons laat nie die flappe in contact kom met die hitte. Excuse, dat ek om net weer in haar. Excuse julle, ek is nie die braaier, nie duidelik nie. Goed, so die flappe laat ons nie in aande raak en kom met die hitte nie. So heat doesn't get to the painted metal. We open them, we braai, even the top one. When the braai has cooled down, we close it again. And that works well. So, I hope that answers the question. I haven't tested with something that conducts heat. Okay. Dan nog een vraag, Kyle? Ja, um, kan een mens enige finish gebruik, maar ek sien iemand het geantwoord en gesê, only power fix is like a finish. Ok, wat die, die rede vir dit is, ons het al in die verlede het ons gevind dat sommige finish, alhoewel die, die, um, die etiket sê, dit is lekker finish, is daar finish wat om een of ander rede benzien bevat. Nou, rechte mag dan nie benzien een lekker finish wees nie. Maar wat benzien dan doen, het de olierigheid in. En het is nie iets wat verdamp, soos wat lekker finish doen nie. Dan los dit de olierigheid op jou oppervlak en dan kan geen verf daarop heg nie. Um, omdat dit nie verdamp nie. Dit is soos om op mebelpolitoor te probeer verf, waar al olie is. So ek weet uit ondervinding uit, dat power fix en lekker finish geen probleme gee nie. Dis maar waarom ons dit aanbeveel. Ok, gaan ons stensel. Goed, terug vir die stensel werk. So vir die stensel, for stenseling, I recommend to use stensel brushes. They've got hard bristles. And I have seen so many questions about this. I'm slowly going to explain these steps. So the less paint, the more evenly distributed on your stencil brush, the greater your success or the greatest your success. Then you can't have any problems. First, very important thing is to secure your stencil with masking tape. Um, I think Maestro maybe. I think it's okay. Maestro, it's Maestro loves masking tape, so my masking tape is no longer on my table, but I'm going to wing it without masking tape. So what I do is I dip my stencil brush in my paint, but in the same breath I remove any excess. And the place where the paint really loves to gather, what it verf lief is om te versamel, is op die randje. En dis die eerste plek waar jy skoon maak. Jy gebruik nie jou handen soos ek nie, jy is nekies. En jy gebruik krantpapier. Goed. Jy doen wat jou gelukkig maak. So, my stencil brush is dry, even paint everywhere. You can rather at a later stage apply a second coat. I'm just securing it with my finger. So I can see there's a, there's a piece that wants to move. So I'm just securing it with my free hand. Your masking tape will be a great help. Remove any excess. Rather to dry, rather apply two coats than do one coat that's too thick and it leaks underneath your stencil. I'm going to your wing, jylle, sonder my maskeerband. Liefste maestre. Ek dink daar is in die garage. Doe maar ek sal het so doen. So I do not dab. I move in circular motion. With my dry stencil brush. And I just want to let you see. Can you see there are no mistakes. And if I want to incorporate different colour. Let's go with, let's see what this color is. It's goodness. Goodness and gracious are our two greens. 
Let's go with some green here. And my chair is also not flat. So I'm just working patiently, securing it. And this is now with painting. Patience is key. So patiently, if you are a wine drinker, have your glass of wine. If you're a coffee or tea person, have your strong cup of tea or coffee and just enjoy the entire process. I'm just holding it flat. Let's do this. Karen just loves pretty as I'm sure she's gonna love this. And I'm going to add some holiday coral for excitement. I've also now not selected the smallest stencil, but I know it's something that she will really love. And I'm just adding some ink here and there. Jack is feeling sorry for me when to get some masking tape. And let's do some coral stone. So very little paint. Have your newspaper close by. In Sdanki Yaku. And circle the vehicles. So I can now yellow palette van kleren here. In ek speel now, I'm just playing around with some colors. Let me see it. Try. I'm just adding some Naya there. And some here. It's just difficult because it's not completely flat. And some. And I'm going to lift it. I just want to add some nail here at the top. So it's going to be a very subtle prettier on a chain without masking tape. Oh, Kylie. Yes, we're out luck. Don't you just think I have the best video lady? in the world. <laughs> Ta-da! And we will fix it. We will just make sure that I apply the masking tape, add another coat and just patiently continue. Let me show you with a foam roller. I'm going to go over that with a foam roller. So I'm going to go with a color. Um, let's use this noise dance that's on the other chair. So I'm going to work in a paint tray. I'm spreading my paint to make sure that my paintbrush distributes it evenly. And what I do is I just test. So the paint needs to be evenly distributed. You can even use your table. Let's do it here. And I know I can gently roll on my prettier. I have patience with me. This is not a flat surface. <laughs> but I'm going to play and play and add various colors and work patiently. Until I have the outcome. And Indeed. that's something you should also do. 
Just be patient, continue having fun and create. Ja, okay, Lila, <laughs> There's another question. Yeah, I can so that's a simple frog. Just to let you know, there's never a simple question. Yeah, thank you, Kaylee. There's nothing like a simple question ever. I have also a masking tape gekoop, and I find it in what place is stick. So, what do you feel? I is lief om. Ek, ek promote Hamilton's baie en hulle betaal my rarig nie, maar ek is lief om Hamilton's masking type te gebruik. Die geel eniekie. Hy is so vuil geel kleer. Dit is werkelijk. Jy kry ook girly masking types wat ek al gesien het by um, hardeware winkels. Hulle is pink en blauw en hulle werk net so lekker. Maar gebruik geris die ene van Hamilton's um, Wat, wat so hy so geel kleer, ek of jylle foto nou nou opsit, hoor, wat ek om net vind, ek weet nie wat, Isa, jy kut of my gaan haal, <laughs> daar so is sy, daar is Hamilton's, sy geel maskeerband, ek is nou so ver, ek noem jy nou plaat, nog een vraag, ja, vraag er is, kan jy die selfde stensel oor en oor gebruik, en hoe, en met wat maak jy dit skoon, oh, ek is blij jy vraag die vraag, want ons het vir oogend een vraag gehad, so ek is lief, om, um, as ek my stensels klaar gebruik het, warm water, seep, en dan gaan jy kom by sponsie gebruik, en lichtie skoon maak, die um, skierkant van jou kom by sponsie. Daar het my stensel gebloei, oor hy beweeg het, kom ons maak het weg, dat jy kan sien, enig iets kan gefiks word. So ek vat my sommer het kinsdenaars borsjokie, en my um, redi schmele, waarmee ek die stoelkie geverf het, En ek gaan hom net hagai so reg maak. So wanneer hy nou droog is vir Karin, gaan sy nooit weet, ten sy sy hierdie weet bekyk, dat ek nie maskeerband gebruik het. Goed, wat ek nou gaan doen is, ek gaan nog speel, hy gaan nou droog word en hy sal precies die selfde kleer droog word. Ek weet, na het verf op die skerm lyk nie mooi nie. Maar ek gaan nou verder speel, my maskeerband mooi plak en met skade wees, lachies oor en hier en daar, my protea mooi en keer, ek sal vir julle finale foto stuur, um, aan die einde van die sessie, van Karin, sy stoele. Wat ek ook gaan doen, maar ons gaan dit nie vandag wees, ek sal vir later keer ons het al, gaan ek paar resette, dier die pleis doop, en op die, van die stoelkies doen, en dan met die stensel af peris, gaan ons die protea stensel op die stoelkies, dit is iets wat ons sal saam doen met die volgende sessie. Goed, kan jy vraag die vraag wat ek hoor? If I apply clear glaze, can I then paint in my shower? <laughs> so you, you so bad you want to paint your showers, I know, because if you don't like the tiles in your bathroom, it is a disaster. A shower is not a surface that I have tested. And we do not recommend using chalk for it. I will ask the chemist. Jakko, jy moet luister. That we need a shower paint. <laughs> shower paint, Jakko. Okay, I'll put it out there. We need a shower paint. Is daar nog een vraag? Kan? Ja, wat er keer is jou kaste langs jou brooi geverf? Dit is prachtig. Dit <laughs> is Sheriff Stone. So die kaste is Sheriff Stone met lijst op. En dan die brooi is Winja Stone. En hier staat ons een boord. Dit is sommer, moet nie kijk nie, ek maak my eie huis gewoon al vir vier maande, so moet nie kijk hoe dit lijk nie, en hy is nog vol ver. Hier is een boord wat ek met chocose matte black geverf het. En wat ek gedoen het, ek wou steeds een baie laaglands afwerking gehad het. So still a very matte surface, but sealed as I'm serving food on here. So what I've done, and this is now the exciting thing about choco is that you can um, manipulate steps. The only two steps that you can't miss is the cleaning with the lacquer thinners and allowing the paint to properly dry at least four hours before applying the glaze. But what I've done here differently is I diluted my glaze, 50% glaze and 50% water. So equal parts glaze and water. That's a question I saw this morning on the Facebook page. I painted my fridge matte black. I love the matte finish. Now I need to glaze it because it's in the kitchen and you want to protect it against spills and oily fingerprints. So what I've done is I've diluted my glaze with 50% water. 
equal amounts glaze and water and I've sealed it and then what I do is I write with chalk um, if we have dinner um, not now if I have people over so I can't wait to have people I show my children as well <laughs> there's the salad there's the meat or if you want to have a waffle table waffles in roemais dan sit jy jou roemais bakkie jy skryf roemais waffles jou stroope jou spreads jou sprinkles um, so dit is a lekker fun element hoe jy jou opdien lekker kan maak bietjie anders kan maak Okay, so you can manipulate the dilution of the glaze up to 50%. Not recommended for kitchen, for decorative things. Okay, fridge will be fine. Okay, you know, I have a question. Let's work with a foam roller. Let's go to the other country and talk about the stuff. So I'm going to show you how to work with a foam roller. I know you can put plastic in your pan first. I just didn't have time. We were at the factory a few minutes back still. So I'm just going to put this is super wood. Um, just pretend it's melamine. With melamine you will clean with lacquer thinners first. And then we are going to paint with a foam roller onto our super wood surface. Now come at work. Wat sy kleren, hoe jy sien, daar was mense wat gepraat het van pink kom buise. Kom ons wacht tot hulle kom en dolk. Wat sy kleren, op die tafel moet ek gebruik. Groen, pink, of wil jy een dak ek sien? Karel Stone, laat weet my wat sy kleren, die eerste kleren wat ons sien is. Ja, eerste kleren is die een wat ons gaan verf. So, groen, pink, of dak ek. Is daar iemand wat gekom het? Nog nie. Wil jy kies sky nie? Pink. Kijk, die eerste is pink. Ah, ons gaan met pink. Ek gaan vir ons verf met Doris Dans. Dit is een prachtige pink kleer. Ek het al pink om buis gesien. En ek het ook gesien hoe iemand sê, O, genade, geen man sal dit oorleef nie. Ek weet, Jakko het groot geword met pink om buis papier. Ach, toilet papier. So, ek dink ook nie, hy sal een pink om buis oorleef nie. Maar pink is een baie elegante kleer om te gebruik in een slaapkamer. Dit is een baie stylvolle kleer, vooral door die stans, om te incorporeer in een slaapkamer. Ons het so'n rikkie terug artikel in thuis oor dit gedoen. Ok, so when working with a foam roller, hierdie is nou stappe, belangrik. Met een sponsroller is jou sponsroller nie te droog nie. Wat ek ook doen is, ek begin in die middel te rol van my oppervlak. Los van maestro laat dit blaf kan, jy moet nie bekommer te is. Amal sal verstaan, ons is by die huis. En maestra is stout, hulle weer het in die tijd. So my foam roller is wet, not to dry. Ok, so het a lekker nat spons roller. Begin in die middel en werk om uit na buiten toe. En nou baie belangrik is, dit is jou eerste laag. So jy gaan nie rol en rol en rol en rol en a grove oppervlak skep nie. Kan jylle sien ek werk geduldig, ek werk lichies, ek forseer niks op my oppervlak nie, ek verspry die pijn, ach, die pijn, verf net hoe jy gaat. Dit was so lang dag. So I'm working, I'm spreading the pain evenly, I'm working patiently, I'm not forcing the pain onto the surface, the moment, ek wil het nie op my boord doen nie, want ek wil nou lelik leid, maar the moment, when you force the paint on your surface and you roll forwards and backwards and you apply pressure, that's when you will see the lines. Okay, so just start in the center, spread the paint forward. With a foam roller, you can change direction. With the verf quas, is it better om net in ene richting te beweeg. Maak my roller kie lekker nat. Kan jy lichtblasie sien? That's quite normal for a foam roller. To show air bubbles. Tip. When working with a foam roller, make sure you don't work in a space where there's breeze. Don't put a fan on your um, item to dry it faster. 
kan jy dit sien hoe ek probeer net die verf en gala verspreid. Hier is een stikkie wat gemis is. Dit gaan heel te maal wegwees met my tweede laag. Ek ga nie nou daar oor rol nie, want hierdie verf het reeds begin droog word en dis wanneer jy een grove oppervlak krijg. Wet my paintbrush, ach, foam roller, verf voor en toe achter toe. Hopefully you will understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so something funny. We have Godfrey in the factory. Godfrey is a deaf guy. So, and he's also the guy that's responsible for decanting the paint. So, until very recently, we found out that he's got secret codes to, um, to know which color needs to be decanted. So, Yaku, I'm going to tell Yaku, Om een of ander rede, dink God, vir hy te snaak sy nees. So, Jaku, sy kleer Jaikou, maak word so verduidelik. My kleer, nee, word so verduidelik. Die vrou van die man met die nees. Ek dink dit so snaaks. Amanda is ons, um, is ons vroukje wat ons quotaties en invoices doen. Kijk, ek gaan verder rol, kijk hoe jy galig, Rustig doen ek dit, laat dit sin maak, en dit is die eerste laag die jylle, dit is die eerste laag, en dit is prachtig gedek. Sommige kleere het meer as twee laag nodig, dit hang alles van die kleerbasis af, kleerbasis af, as ook die kleersal. Goed, so daar is ons ons pink, nou mooi op, ek gaan lichies net die oor, laat ek nie lijntjies sien nie, seker maak ons mooi jy galig, En ek gaan net die boe, waar ek sien, hy is nie mooi gedek nie, gaan ek om net saagies rol. En ek rol om net lichies heen en weer, nie op die droe areas, nie net om van die lichtblaasies en slaan te rol. Nou Amanda is die vroukie wat ons kwetaties doen en ons invoices. Die name van die kleren is moest vernoem na mense. So everybody in the factory, not everybody yet, but most of us, have got names. Our chocolate colors are named after people. And Amanda is the lady that does the quiz, and she um, is very focused on her work. So Anne's rose gold, Godfrey, if he did, needs to count that, and he's asking for the tinting bait to send it up. It goes like this. So this is Anne's rose gold. Okay, so first coat, done and dusted. It's not perfect. It will not be perfect, because it's a first coat. But you will apply your second coat exactly the same way. Questions, Kelly, are they? Okay. I'm just going to let this stand on the floor. And then we are going to glaze. Now, when do we glaze? Nadine, there's one question that popped up now. Okay. Enig wenke vir verf op rotang. Rotang. Maak goed skoon met lekker finish. Dis jou eerste stap. Tweede stap is die vraag van Afrikaans. Ja. Okay, I'm going to answer it in Afrikaans and I'll... Vul ek in met Engels. So jou tweede belangrike stap is om rustig met rotang te werk. Rotang het een gladde afwerking en baie groefies en gleefies. So jy werk, ek het een rotang stoel, maar hy is reeds geverf en hy is so, hy staan in my kamer, ek so vir jou foto stuur. Goed, so jy verf met jou verf en ek gaan dit probeer feik. Kom ek wees vir jou die onderkant van die maantje. Hier is een maantje. En veronderstel, Dit is jou rotang oppervlak. Kom ons werk nie sommer met Gamfrits of met Karel Stuit. So jy het nou skoon gemaakt met lekker vinger. Die geheim met rotang is, jy sit verskrikkelike dun laag verf op. So dat daar nie blobbe verf tussen die groepies en gleepies gaan sit nie. So wat jy doen is, jy speel met jou borsel. Jy beweeg die haarkies lekker. Laat dit mooi jy galig, dit gaan nie jou eerste laag een solide afwerking gee nie. Ek is so jammer vir moeistere wat so stout is. So jy werk lekker met jou kwaas, oorals in die groefies en gleefies, en jy gaan sien jou eerste laag is een baie dun laag. En hy weet nie een solide dek nie, maar dit is goed. En met jou tweede laag gaan jy sien alles begin mooi saamwerk. As jy wit op een rotang op een vlak verf, jy het tot ook vier laag nodig hee. Vooral als je zo'n dun verf 
Nadine, there's another question that popped up a few times now. Okay, ask it. Why would you need to dilute the glaze? That's a, a very good question, okay? There's never anything like, I love the questions, okay. Mark the rotang sin. Can you make it feel sin? Yeah. Can you rotang on back for you? Yeah. Because my kids are now prachtig gefeit. Good. Let me add it sick. So I can do it for you. Okay, so the glaze is a concentrated sealant. Let's go to the glaze section as well. So the glaze is a concentrated sealant. This is a 100% acrylic component, has a 100% acrylic component. So it really um, gives good UV protection to a surface and makes a surface water resistant. But when you don't dilute it, it's very difficult to work with. It dries quickly and it becomes sticky and it actually leaves white marks as you try to wipe it on, especially on darker surfaces. When you dilute it with 30%, it still has a 70% acrylic component, which still gives very good sealing properties to your surface. So it's a concentrated form. It's like Oros, that's a concentrated liquid. So how do we mix it? I always mix as I need, okay? Water contaminates paint products. So what I like to use is cool down boiling water and then um, still depending on the quality of the water, it can last up to a month if you put it back in your jar and seal it again. But I mix as I need. So you can use smaller um, measuring cups from your kitchen or anything that you can measure so it's three parts glaze one part water Nadine there's a lot of questions again Het jy enige wenke om fluweel materiaal te verf? Fluweel materiaal oppervlaktes fabric surfaces paint do change a fabric surface we always recommend to taste first. Personally, I'm not fond of painting a velvet surface. Fluvial wood hard, the fair market werkelijk hard. This is a quick fix, so I say, not a permanent oplosser. So as you can see, it's all like mooi light. And there is no gold for a herstoffering in material. Fair film finish, but you know that it's not a permanent oplosser. Oppervlakte, so you touch it. Spuit nat met water, a gestoffeerde oppervlak. Verf op die nat oppervlak, nie die eerste laag. Spuit jy nat met water en verf. Dan wacht jy dat die hand droog is. Hand droog is as jy nou raak, dan kom jy met verf af nie. Verf jy jy tweede laag. Um, en dan hang dit af hoeveel verf dier die spons geabsorbeer word en ook die materiaal, hoeveel laag benodig gaan word. Iets wat ek lief is om te verf. Is goeie oppervlakte, a goeie opgepaste um, kunstleer oppervlak of swaait oppervlak, dis werk baie goed. Swaait verander na een leer gevoel, dit werk so goed. Op, op ons webblad is daar a revamp your TV room or lounge. Gaan jy sien daar so video wat, wat ons het saam die home channel gedoen het. Um, Kunstleer het ons gedoen tydens lockdown, ek het ook sommer die idees tydskrif gedoen na uitskopstoe wat ons met Sheriff Stone geverf het. Kunstleer, maak jy skoon met lekker finish, wacht toen ek tot weer af met die verf, geen seelaar is nodig. Goed. So if you paint fabric furniture, is it correct to add cobra polish in between layers of the paint? To what? Add cobra polish in between? It says to out cobra polish in between the layers of the paint. No, don't add polish in between the layers of the paint. The reason for that is polish is oil. And if you want to add a water-based product, chalk is water-based, on top of that oil, it will not grip. It will be a great mess. So no, nothing in between layers of paint. Just paint. Okay. Okay, Kylie. Where can I buy the paint products, the paint and the stencils? Okay. So we have a website, Choco Paint. Choco is spelled T J H O K O paint.co.za. On the website, there are two options. We have stockers where you can click on the stockers link, type in your area, click on search and scroll down, and all the stockers will appear. 
um, in your area. Or you can order online. There's an option that says shop on the website where you can order online. So it depends on you and if you have a stockist in your area. Okay, no vraag is geil. Okay. So, very important, once you have painted, so here's a kitchen door that was painted in goodness. Okay. You need to wait at least four hours before you can apply the glaze. What I always recommend when doing large projects like kitchens is to wait overnight and glaze the next day. You will feel the paint dries rather quickly. It is fitter than the verf terug. But there is a curing process that is still And then under the glaze, a pure acrylic product is. Due to the fact that the glaze is pure acrylic, it will remove the paint if the paint hasn't cured properly. So what I need next, I'm just putting that in my cloth is a piece of mutton cloth. Now, mutton cloth is available from um, hardware stores. Your stockers will, should have them. And it looks like t-shirt material almost. There are actually clients that say they prefer working with t-shirt material. Sorry, there's just a lot of fluff on this one. Just check it out. Okay. So, I have a piece of mutton cloth. I have dipped it in my water and it's damp. But I've removed any excess moisture. And now what I do is I dip it in my glaze mixture. Now you can wear gloves. You should wear gloves. It's easier to get yourself clean if you wear gloves. Okay? Um, it's non-toxic, so there's nothing that will happen to you if you don't wear gloves. Jy gaan net sikkel om skoon te kom, as jy nie dadelijk jou handig gaan was. So make sure your hands are clean, mine is not. So my cloth is nice and damp with a glaze. And I fold it like a ball in the palm of my hand. But I know my cloth has absorbed glaze everywhere. So when I'm going to wipe on my surface, and this is how I apply the glaze, I know it will be glaze sitting on my surface and nothing else. And you simply wipe the glaze onto your surface. What I also do is I work at an angle. You can see I'm bending forward so that I can see. So I have, it's a well lit space I'm working in. There's enough light in my, in my vertrek. And I make sure that I work in a hoek that I can see that I bend the glaze overall on. My nappie wordt droog. Sit hom weer in die glaas. Droog hom uit jou hande moet net skoon wees. Mijn is my nog vol verf. Droog oor tollig glaas uit. Ek kan sien die areas wat ek gemis he. En ek veen het mooi eegalig my glaas op. Nou soms, as jy een area gemis he. Of jou mat en klot is nie lekker sjak he. Maar is daar, kan daar streperig uit voorkom. Maar onthou, dis verf en alles kan recht gemaakt word. En hy wacht jy net een half uur, skies hier is nou net een haarkie, my opperplak, wacht jy half uur en jy verf het veel het nog een laagje kluis aan. Jy kan ook in cirkel bewegings beweeg. Ek gaan nou klaar maak met my aanwende. Ook seker is nie jy galig, oorhal opgeveel. En een laagie is genoeg, en sy jy streepie sien, en dan wend jy net nog een laagie aan. Okay, so second coat can be applied half an hour later. You just make sure that you apply it evenly, everywhere. Once again, patience, enjoy it. And that's it. So I'll wait for my glaze to dry, take the next door, do the same. So very important as well is when you do a large project, like a kitchen, finish off one section. So you paint your first coat everywhere. Then you come back, apply your second coat, wait overnight and do your glazing. One door at a time, make sure it's perfect and then carry on. Okay, this is back to basics. This is 
dry brush i'm just quickly going to show you dry brush because there were no questions Kaylee. i think Kaylee is tired and she wants to study i'm going to dry brush quickly so this is a quick technique this paint at the back let me show you this stool nadine just one question yeah, can i get glass with the quas work on it quas marks the rear so I feel your question. Also, it's well cleaned, but the sponge roller can be rolled. But then you have to try to use the sponge roller to fair work. Like it's more easier to do. But it's just in there. Look, can you create it more easily? Can you create more easily with the sponge roller? Can you do what for you? Make like this makes so many a quest on the floor. Okay. Um, dry brush. This amper shows us things. So that we see the last thing that we're going to do. I can't even throw it. We're going to see some black ants here. So this, it's a very dry brush. So it's a dry brush, no water. We never add water to charcoal um, unless we're doing a technique. So my paint is evenly dis distributed. You can spray on my quasi. This is amper the way as if you have the surface of the but you don't. You have to So it's very light. Where my upper flak can nog be die verf grijp. Kan jy sien of is die skade weer slag kou? Mm, die licht is bietjie slag, maar dis sien boor. So ek. <laughs> ja, kom hartlik in die vertrek en baie opgewonde en dankbaar vir iets. Ek weet nie waar waar is hy dankbaar nie. Ek <laughs> so ek borsel lichies Dit gee die idee asof die oppervlak afgeskeer is Maar hy is nie Hy is net geborsel met een baie droe borsel En ek haar richting verander En dis draai bras Weer eens oefen speel Daar is die een recht of verkeerd nie Hier net pret Ja kijk Is dat goed vraag Kan ja, hier is nog één. Oké, okay, vrouw. Moet jij altijd lijst gebruiken als jij het thema gevaar vindt? Nee, ik gebruik mijn lijst. Oh, Oei, eerlijk, ik heb een lijst. Dus, so, om bij zijn badkamers bij te jaar beslis. Um, mijn koffietafel is niet gegleisd, nie, mijn tv-kast is niet gegleisd. Nie. Um, die korritems, of je glad niet te glijsen. Die chocolade is een ingebouwde sealer. So net om iets meer wasbaar te maak, hier weer water bestaan, vleis jy vir die res. Ek nie net, baie makkelijk. Ok, is daar nog iets keilie? Ja, hulle vraag waar gaan hier die video wees na die tijd? Ok, ek gaan hom nou op Facebook post. En as hulle kom deel op die Choco Creations blad, en dan word het ook op ons YouTube kanaal geplaas, en so na twee dag. Maar julle gaan hom nou kan sien op Facebook. Is daar nog vraag? Het is alles beantwoord. Ah, meeste van die goed, maar ons ook top fans, wat ek sien wat ook baie antwoorde geef vir die mens. Ach, jylle is oulik. Ek is verskrikkelijk lief vir jylle allemaal. I love you all. Um, it was lovely to be back. Ok, let me know what help you need. And then once a week, in between everything that's going on at the factory, it is hectic. But we'll try to be together once a week with most frequent ask questions or things that you need advice on. Ok, I'm here to help. Have a lovely evening um, and I'll see you again next week. We'll confirm date and time. Bye-bye.